Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Drop Pod Dutch versus the Halo Heroes Dutch. I don't actually remember which Halo Heroes series Dutch came from. Was that a... It wasn't nine. Was it... Four? I don't remember. Either way, Halo Heroes Dutch versus Drop Pod Dutch. Now, before I start, I just want to briefly talk about the drop pods and just kind of express my disappointment, which I'm sure many of you share. For those of you who have heard, um, for those of you who are not have not heard, basically what happened with the drop pods was they had retailers lined up for them. We know Walmart was one of them because Walmart actually had tags on the shelves for a while. And then all of the retailers canceled their orders and Mega ceased production. So there are a couple batches of them out there. That's why uh, like Paul Mart's store over on eBay keeps getting batches of them, but unfortunately they're not being produced anymore. And that is super disappointing because it was a great thing for them to reintroduce Alpha 9. Now, it is not all doom and gloom. Um, Simon over on the domain as the Mega Ambassador uh, had polls across social media to collect uh, basically information on how many people actually got the pods, how many people didn't, how many people wanted to get them, and pass it on to Mega. So hopefully, and this is this is really not, we don't really know anything right now, but I'm hoping that they will do something to bring these back. If not releasing the pods, at least releasing Alpha 9 in a figure pack or something because these figures are really good, minus the big quality control problem that Rookie had where um, with a little too much force, the stripe on his head will just flake right off, whereas the other figures don't have that problem. So, yeah, that's kind of the state of the drop pods right now. They are officially discontinued as of right now. It remains to be seen how it will proceed from here. Um, they're really good sets, but please do not pay the eBay prices. They retail is about 10 bucks. 15 would be max, but there are people trying to sell the lot of 4 for $200 and that is that is honestly insulting and I am um, asking please do not support that do not let the scalpers just get away with treating the community like garbage so yeah if that um, if that was something you didn't know unfortunately they are discontinued for the time being we are going to go ahead and start off with the halo heroes dutch now this guy is he's been used i got him used so he's a little beat up but not bad um and it's just really hard to get the Halo Heroes of Alpha 9, the ones that exist like Romeo and Buck and Dutch. Um, it's just Alpha 9 in general is hard to get. There are actually three versions of Dutch out there. One is Halo Heroes, one is the Drop Pod, and then there is an older one from the, what is it called? ODST something. It's with the drones and there's like a green ODST and then Dutch. Um, so this guy right here is pretty decent looking. The teeth up here, the shark teeth, really are not shark teeth at all. They're just like a little silver thing. Um, the chest plate has a little bit of a derpy uh, skeleton or a skull with a crossbones. Now, I was researching to see if that coloring on the chest was actually correct, and it's a bit hard to find, like, source material that agrees because even the in-game shots seem to disagree on what exactly his armor looked like. So basically, it looks like his whole chest plate's supposed to be orange and then there's like pouches on either side. But since Mega didn't mold one with pouches, they decided to paint it gray to I guess represent the pouches. It's kind of an interesting choice. We've got orange on the shoulders, both sides. We have the fingerless gloves and we have a splazer here. This is the old splazer that I kind of think is not great. Like the detail on it's pretty good, but it just looks too long on the back and not long enough on the front. I don't know. It just looks weird to me. It's painted up, which is kind of nice, but this one is actually bent. And I hadn't noticed that before, but yeah, it looks bent. I don't know if it's always been that way. I might try heating it up, but yeah, I just, I don't love this piece. I think it's kind of bleh, but it is a painted one. So it's kind of cool. And then uh, the figure has the kind of light gray slash off-white 
um, lower arms and lower legs, which is not technically correct. Actually, does he have yellow paint on his leg? I think that is yellow paint on his leg. That is not supposed to be there. But yeah, that they had camo in game there, and that was kind of this color, but I don't know. The, the lighter color is not exactly right. And then he's got a backpack. That is actually George's backpack. It's not also technically correct. But as a whole, it's a pretty darn good looking figure. And it served as the definitive Dutch for a good long while. I had actually just finished hunting down the Halo Heroes uh, Dutch, like fairly recently. And then um, that when before the pods were released, I had finished hunting him down and then they announced that they were doing a new one and I was like, ah, dang it. But, um, this is really a stark change and we'll, we'll see him side by side in a minute. But, um, the biggest difference right off the bat is that the lower arms and lower legs are now a different gray. He's made mostly in kind of a green gray plastic and then the lower arms and lower legs are kind of a more speckled gray. So that's a big change. He really should have camo there, but I think this is decent. I think the, the whole darker color scheme works. Um, he does have the entire entirely orange chest plate. Still no pouches, but we do have the little side things painted. And we actually have more information on here. It actually says Dutch. It says UNSC. We got a little UNSC symbol on his shoulder. Come on. On his shoulder, we've got his blood type, which is really cool. And a little bit of kind of dark orange. Maybe could have used another coat there. I'm not sure. But we've got the same over there. And he has the newer Splazer, which I like so much better. It's better sized. It has the two handles, even though it's a little difficult to make them hold both handles. There is both handles. This one is just painted with a single stripe on this metallic green, which I think works pretty well. Um, we do have other more highly painted up ones. Like this is the one from the Master Chief collection set. So if this doesn't suit you, you can always, um, you can use different ones. And the CQB from Halo Universe series um, three has a gray one with the stripe. So if you wanted to have him with a more darker color scheme one, but yeah, I like that upgrade a lot. And then the figure just, I feel like there's more going on here. The visor looks pretty darn good. The teeth are almost non-existent. It's really hard to see them. Very, very difficult. Straps are painted up. We've got a stripe on the head, which is pretty cool. I did try scratching at that one and it seems pretty solid. So I'm not worried about that one flaking off like rookies did. And then around the back, we have the new ODST backpack that was introduced in the Hive Exterminator set. And it just is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just looks great. And let me pull that off so you can see a little bit more of the painting around the back. Yeah, very good figure. And I, I find Dutch pretty interesting in game as well. He's a, he's a strange character. He's a very strange character. And now we get them side by side. And I got to say, I just think that the newer one for sure wins out. But I also want to say that the old one still holds up pretty darn well. There's nothing that to me is like wrong other than the teeth. But then again, the new one has wrong teeth as well. And the way that it's painted up, it almost looks... Uh, maybe not. The way that there's so much more black here makes the helmet look more narrow. And the way it's painted here makes it look... Um, less so, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good. The black on this one is very small, like smaller maybe than it should have been, but yeah, they're just very different. Like, especially in the chest plates and the printing there, it's just strange that there's so much variation in the design, but yeah, I would say that they're both really solid. They're both a great option. Um, and honestly, if you even wanted to, you could make this guy look like this guy by getting a Hive Exterminator set and swapping pieces. So there are options. So if you can get a Halo Heroes Dutch for a decent price, I would say go ahead and do it. Um, actually, I realize this yellow here is actually molded into the leg. That's kind of odd. This guy is very hard to get right now and I would not pay very much for him. I mean, I say 15 would be the max. I just, I don't think he's worth more than that. I know he's Alpha 9 and I know a ton of people really like Alpha 9, but I just don't think it's worth it. Around the back, you can see the differences between the backpacks, which is really interesting. And yeah, I just 
I like the new one better. I really do want to get the third one, get him in there and see how he stacks up. But I'm pretty sure that this one will be always my favorite. Again, this one is not bad and he is a Halo Heroes figure. So if you're trying to collect all the Halo Heroes, you definitely want to get a hold of him, even if you don't get a hold of the newer Dutch. But yeah, um, that's essentially the comparison here. Uh, and it's just sad that the um, the better version is not available. Well, there you have it. That is the Halo Heroes Dutch versus the Drop Pod Dutch. And I mean, I've pretty much said it all at this point. The newer version is definitely superior, but again, the Drop Pods have been canceled and we don't really know if they're gonna be put back into production or not. It just, we just have to wait and see, which is really disappointing and it, it's it's very frustrating. It makes me kind of sad because I was excited that these were becoming a thing. I was excited that Mega was taking a crack at the extremely high prices of the Halo Heroes figures and giving us new and improved versions. And then it just kind of has fallen through the cracks. So I'm still hopeful that we might see Mega do something about it. I don't know if it will be soon. I kind of would imagine maybe within a year or so they might do something. But yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sad about that. I'm I wish that it was available for everybody because they're just, it was a great idea. Um, getting each of the, being able to buy your, your favorite characters from alpha nine separately. If you only wanted Dutch or if you only wanted Mickey or Romeo, you could do that. And it's, it's upsetting that that's not happening. So there are ways that they could fix this. I'm hoping that they will do some of those solutions, but we'll see. And like I said, Dutch is an interesting character. I think he's like one of the only characters that really like talks about the Bible in Halo. He does it in a weird way, but I, I don't know. That always made him more interesting to me. Um, and his whole thing about like he he didn't sign up to be a pilot and then he flies a warthog. That was just kind of funny. So he's just an interesting character and I like getting an updated version of him. I really should get him out for some photos here soon. Um, but yeah. That is kind of the summary here. This guy right here, if you want to make him really just so much better, get yourself one of the newest Splazers, whether it's from, no matter what it is, just get yourself a Splazer, put it on him, he's so much better. He looks way less outdated now. Um, this this Splazer is just bad and outdated at this point. It's kind of a crummy piece in my opinion. So do that and you will make your Halo Heroes Dutch look way better thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time